Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this showcase video. Today we've got the amazing Tyranid half of the brand new 10th edition Leviathan boxed set. So a huge thank you to Games Workshop for sending us this in advance to paint up and preview. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, Adam, one of the team here at Siege, has worked on this phenomenal force of Tyranids. Um, now, right from the get-go, we wanted to paint something a little bit different and also contrast the Marines from the box. Um, so the scheme that we decided to go for was High Fleet Behemoth. Now, it's a scheme in the High Fleet they don't really see very often, so they don't see them as much as maybe Leviathan or Kraken, for example. Um, really, really vibrant, super red, sort of like fleshy areas with that dark, almost blue-black kind of chitin on their sort of armoured areas. So really, really great uh, sort of tonal colourways right from the start. Um, in the box, you obviously got a lot of bugs, as you can see, and uh, there's a whole swathe of new bugs in this box. I've got to start with the absolute piece de la resistance of the box, which is the, uh, the amazing, um, absolutely amazing Screamer Killer. Um, Probably one of my favorite models. I remember the original one from back in the day in second edition uh, onwards, the uh, the metal one. And uh, this new model does not disappoint at all whatsoever. Uh, we've got some really, really phenomenal little details. I absolutely love the almost like, kind of like Predator-esque kind of like carapace and head as well, which is really cool. Um, adds an amazing job painting all the little details. And you've got this really vibrant greeny yellow kind of like uh, inner mouth area, obviously, the Screamer Killer literally throws up on his enemies, this, this sort of plasma, and uh, we've done a, Ad's done a really good job of picking it out in that yellow in the more of it on the mouth, which is great. Um, but again, really aggressive stance, uh, just a phenomenal miniature that uh, comes in the new Leviathan box. Um, we're going to go through some of the bigger models first and then go through the, uh, the sort of little gribblies at the end. Uh, the next of the newer models is the uh, Psychophage, which again is just a really, really cool model. Uh, it hunts out and eats all of your Psychers. Uh, so any, any elder out there, any librarians, be, be very fearful and scared of this thing. Um, Ad's done a great job again. The carapace has got all these striations across the whole way of it. Um, now, painting the, the, approaching the, the painting process for this, um, you know, Adam himself actually loves Tyranids and collects uh, Behemoth as well, which is also really convenient. Convenient. and uh, he's really spent a lot of time working all the little details on these guys just to a really really exquisite standard um, the process just for colorization as well we've gone for quite a vibrant red as well which is just really nice you've got the, the sort of like uses of like Mephiston red and like Evil Sun Scarlet and colors like that um, all the way through to the carapace which has darker tones uh, and then we've got some striations done with some, some blue hues maybe Incubi and other colors like that uh, but again Psychophage you've got this really nice sort of greeny yellow contrasting sort of uh, sort of a psychic smoke I imagine what it is um uh, also sort of discharge from the from the creature that's just obviously really nice contrasting greeny color to the red uh, which is just really really lovely uh, so that's uh, the psychophage uh, you've got a winged tyranid prime which again is a model which uh, i don't think the prime actually had a, a model until recently obviously with this um and you were forced to sort of create your own your own version of the prime but again really awesome awesome model um really a cool sort of attacking pose as well which is just really nice uh, and again Ad's done a great job just picking out every little detail on this uh, this, this nasty bug um, then we're going to go through to uh, a, a, well, a cousin of the Hive Tyrants we've got the Neuro Tyrant which is the, the another psychic creature from the force it's got two floating brains I've forgotten the name totally about them so if you do know that chuck that in the comments um, but the uh, Neuro Tyrant itself um, I was actually really surprised I thought that this from, from seeing the video I thought this was going to be a much larger creature but actually it's so it's, a, it's a quite more reserved model, which is just really, really cool. You've got a huge brain just on the um, on the on the top section of the of the model, all the tendrils and everything hanging down. And I absolutely love the the uh, the, the sort of like the Tyranidae kind of like bio transference. I don't know what it is, but on the base, it's kind of like absorbing and eating that head, that librarian head on the base, which is quite cool. Uh, but again, around the back, you've got some extra nodes and bone, sort of brains and things just obviously in the back of the model as well, which is, again, just a real good use of detail. Some really cool little bits that are on the miniature uh, and do love this, uh, this sort of like tactical pipe, I suppose you could call it, uh, just on the base. So that's the uh, the neuro tyrant. Um, then jump into to, to all the whole swathe of or swarm of uh, bugs that the the rest of the army actually does have. Uh, we've got some von Ryan's leapers. We've got twenty brand new termagant casts, which are super crisp and really really good. And we're going to go through all these models. Um, we've got uh, some neuro gaunts, which are like your psychic guard, and then we've got some barb gaunts as well. Uh, so let's jump in and look straight at the uh, the von Ryan's leapers. They're almost a descendant of the of the Lictar, so they have a, a very similar kind of uh, stature and uh, sort of design to to a, to a Lictar. 
um, but obviously they come in a, in a group of three perhaps, or you know, you can increase the squad size. Uh, but a really nice uh, model, uh, great dynamic attacking poses, which I think is just very, very fitting for that kind of Lictor-esque or hunter killer kind of bug. We're then going to go through and then have a look at uh, the Barb Gaunts, which is actually a really interesting creature. It's two two sort of different Tyranids joined together. And Ad's done this amazing job of painting all these little orbs on the surface of the model as, as eyes. They've got loads of refraction catch lights in the eyes. You've got these really, really vibrant yellow, which again, there's a triad of colours, obviously the blue, red and yellow. It just works extremely well. We've got that primary colour triad in there as well, which is just lovely. Uh, again, these are more like an artillery unit. So you've got like a, they fire obviously for a long distance on the board. And again, you can see those two creatures just melded together on the sculpt, uh, which is which is really awesome. So you get five of those. Um, then we're going to go through and have a look at the Neurogaunts, which are the psychic kind of protection units. They help with synapse in the force. Uh, again, you've got the squad leader here, or the, the, the main sort of Neurogaunt. Um, which has got a, a, this huge brain on the back of uh, he, on his back, uh, just to denote that one as the squad leader. Uh, really kind of like predator esque kind of pose, where it's a bit haunched and seeking sort of something to attack, which is quite nice. And then we've got a unit of, of ten of those just to go with that squad leader. Um, again, really nice to see. There's the the, the the sculpts are a little bit different, so you've not got the same model over and over and over again. There is a bit of intricacy and variance to those miniatures as well, which is quite lovely. Um, so that's the uh, the Neurogaunts, and then finally we're going to look at all of the uh, Termagants. Now, Termagant has been around for a long time. Uh, it's, the, I'd say, the backbone of the Tyranid army, um, and you get 20 of them in the box, in the Leviathan box on the Tyranid side. Um, really, really cool new sculpts, really crisp, so that all the details that you're used to on a Termagant, you're going to get them again, but even more detailed and just with some really, really lovely sharpness to them. Uh, and again, lots of different poses with these. They've got them in really cool sort of a running or haunched or kind of seeking kind of poses which is just a really nice thing We've got a running one here which is quite lovely just a really it really shows that speed and that emphasis of kind of like that that aggression that tyranids are known for having uh, and ad's done a phenomenal job again on just highlighting all of the flesh all of the carapaces all of the eyes and details because there's a lot across all of these bugs um i i don't think he's counted how many striations he's done but there's a there's a, a massive amount of them across all of these models um and we can't forget the humble Tyranid Ripper as well, because there are two bases that do come in this uh, in this force as well. Uh, Rippers, again, really cool, characterful kind of piece from a Tyranid army. The first into the fray, you could say. So a big thanks for watching this showcase. I hope you've liked all the amazing miniatures from this Tyranid swarm, which we've had the pleasure of painting. A huge thank you once again to Games Workshop for sending us the brand new 10th edition of the Viathan box. Uh, we've had an absolute blast painting. I know Ad has really loved adding these awesome models to the High Fleet Behemoth Force. Um, if you are interested in getting your Tyranids painted by us here at Siege and you've liked what you've seen in this video, do not hesitate in getting in touch with us through the Siege website or the contact form, which is linked in the description of this video. We would love to paint some amazing Tyranids for you. Um, if you are going to be painting it yourself, then let us know in the comments of the video which high fleet you are going to be painting your Tyranids as it's always great to hear what you're going to be doing with your 10th edition Leviathan box. So a big thank you from all the team here at Siege and myself. I hope you've liked the showcase and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.